This is Mr. Burgess, and today I'm going to show you a few tips about this really great algebra resource called Solve Me Mobiles. Now, um, when you first arrive at Solve Me Mobiles, it looks uh, a little bit like this. So you have to create an account. Uh, they don't have to. You can sign in as a guest, but then it doesn't track your progress. And you can either build a mobile or play a mobile. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show Play Solve Me Mobiles. And it has three levels. It has Explorer, which is like beginner, Puzzler, which is intermediate, and then Master, which is more advanced. So um, I'm going to start right off with puzzle number one. The, um, the game shows you that when you finish solving the puzzle, you just click on the submit button in the top corner. So I'm just going to get rid of that little reminder. Um, <clears throat> and this is how it works. You've got a balance. Uh, the balance has different weights on it. Uh, you can see there's a blue weight and um, a yellow triangular weight. And what we know about a balance is that both sides of the balance have to weigh the same or it's not balanced. So uh, it tells me 10, meaning that the total weight on the balance is 10. So for example, if I think that the yellow triangle weighs two and the blue square weighs eight, that equals 10, but look at the balance. So one neat thing about this is that if it's out of balance, uh, if you've got the wrong answer, it gives you a clue saying, no, this side's too heavy, the, it can't weigh eight when the other side weighs two. And if I reverse that, if I say, okay, well this side is eight because eight plus two must equal 10. It'll show me the same. And if I keep kind of guessing random numbers, 7 plus 3 equals 10. No, it says 7's too heavy. 7's too much. It's pulling down this side of the balance. Okay. Um, so that's one of the key things about this. Uh, one of the main rules is that this side of the balance, the left side of the balance, must weigh the same as the right side of the balance. The left and the right must weigh the same. Uh, okay, so you've got these little eraser tools and pencil tools and I'm gonna show, they really come in handy too. I recommend that you use them. Um, so they have to weigh the same. The other neat thing about this is if you drag the balance to the side, it tells you, I gotta go back to the pointer hand here. And if you drag the actual balance beam to the side, it gives you a clue. It tells you, well, hold on, they both have to be the same. The blue and the orange triangle have to be the same. And a lot of people just look at this and they go, well, it's five and five. It has to be. That has to be the answer, which is true. When you hit submit, you get some stars. You click the next puzzle. Okay. Now, there's a couple different balances. This one tells you that the green heart is equal to seven. And we know that the right side, this side here, has to be the same as this side. Otherwise, it wouldn't balance. It just wouldn't work. So if the green heart is seven, the purple diamond has to be seven as well. Okay. Uh, we'll do one more. Now sometimes, sometimes this, this balancing gives you a clue, but it doesn't really help you that much. Um, unless you use some of the other clues. All right, two trapezoids equals one moon. That doesn't really help me too much unless I use some of the other clues. I have to realize that, that this right side here, this has to be the same as this side. It has to be the same. And in this one here, let me get rid of this little line here, these lines. In this puzzle, it's giving me a clue that the total weight is eight. That means that this side, the right side, has to be half of eight. Right? And what's half of eight? Well, this side has to be four. It has to be. It has to be half of the total weight. So that's one of the rules of this game, is that if you see a number at the top, the right side and the left side have to be four. And in fact, this one gave me a little bit of a clue. It said that trapezoid equals two, and two plus two equals four, so it gives you a little clue. It has to be. Without even knowing that, without even the number two there, I could have figured out that 
blue moon is four because it has to be half of eight. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pause here for a minute and I'm going to show kind of the next step of not just solving the puzzle, but how to write an equation. Thanks for watching.